Hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismen? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. This one. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food!
metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. <laughs> left or right, press the L2 or R2 button.
It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Look at that! The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. <laughs> job we've got a place for you here for the moment I want you to have this talisman
Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. <laughs> Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for uh, a small fee? Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. <laughs> around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. when you know how to chant like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies.
time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Remember Hunter's advice, you will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. I'm a vegetarian. I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it.
Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Spyro, you've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Yeah, they don't need it. Welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal.
Focus your thought. Try a game of one on one. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go.
Sim. You might not see anything.
our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the College Stones for your final challenge. on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. <laughs> if
if you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. If you jump on these stones in the... Nice job, Spyro! You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Thank mm -hmm. you.